YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Leron Potent Ponder, and I'm back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Shout out to all of my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. So, yo, I'm in the car right now, and, you know, I'm just waiting to pick up one of my friends. So, I just was like, let me go and do a video real quick while I wait, and, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, look, listen, first thing I want to talk about this whole situation with Remy Ma's son being accused of murder right this is crazy now i think what it is is just that the fact that remy went down with charges and all of that and now that her son is you know now being charged with uh murder as well and it's like you know remy just came home a few years ago did she come home at 14 or 16 when did she come home 2014 15 or 16 i feel like it was one of those years because i went to her welcome home party when she came back home right in new york city but I just feel like the impacts, like the way that Remy Ma talks about, like, you know, gangster rap and all of that like that. I just feel like it has these pernicious effects and impacts. Right. It has like a pernicious uh, impact to where um, her son wants to be just like her. You know what I mean? And I feel like he got caught up in that. And yeah, um, I know that you can't blame the parents for what the child does, but um. I don't think that the apple falls far from the tree. Like, that's just all I'm really trying to say. Like, you know what I mean? And my heart goes out to them. You know, Remy did make a statement and she stated that, you know, um, justice for Jason and all of this and all of that. Right. But we know how that goes when it comes to like these artists. Like, of course, they're going to stand. They're going to stand next to their children. They're going to stand next to them. And, you know, they're going to want people to, you know, believe their innocence and all of that. And. Hopefully it is a big, uh, you know, mix up and all of that. And hopefully there will be some sort of justice for Jay or whatever. I don't know, but I just feel like it's crazy. And it's just like, you know, she went down for a gun charge and now he's being accused of unaliving somebody. So let me know how you think about this whole ordeal in the comments. Ah, man. Um, you know, I don't look at this as like a karma situation. Some people look at that as like karma or whatever. I don't look at it like that. I just, you know, I personally know that, especially me having like a mom who raised us the right way and like having brothers who made decisions that weren't of like, you know, what she would approve of. You can't really blame the parents all the time, but my mom, she, you know, my mom and dad, they laid a good foundation to let us know what's right, right from wrong and what not to do. But, you know, you can't listen. I just feel like Remy, my son, grew up with his mom in prison and knowing that your mom was in prison for shooting someone, you have to realize that kind of like I feel like that can entice you or it can have some sort of snowball effect later in life. It's just like, you know, what you hear from Remy, she always talks about getting back at people through fighting or shooting and she makes it known in her music. So listen, I just felt like that was crazy. Um, Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about that whole ordeal. I hope it works out for the best of them. You know, if he did unalive somebody, then unfortunately, you're going to have to uh, face the repercussions. Let's talk about Kendrick Lamar to pop out. Now, people are saying that Kendrick Lamar stunned on Drake at the pop out, said that he had YG on stage. And you know that, um, you know that uh, Drake had mentioned YG in his diss record. So let me just read this article to you from Vulture. So the pop out Kendrick and friends was about many things celebrating Los Angeles rap coming together. And in, to display peace and unity and also hating Drake. The show produced by Amazon and streamed live on Prime and Twitch built to a fascinating crescendo as rappers like rappers nba stars and members of la's various gangs took the stage so kendrick performed not like us six times i was seeing that they said some people were saying he performed it six times four times five times whatever right six times in a row well once was just the instrumental here's everything else that went down who put in the cameo a new line on euphoria kendrick offered a whitman sampler of the drake um of his Drake's diss tracks, he opened the show with Euphoria, which is my favorite song. Don't play with the family, Cody. It could get deep for your family, Cody. Yeah, that's my favorite. Euphoria is, I like Euphoria more than they like, they not like us. So he opened with Euphoria, adding a new line, give me Tupac's ring back, I might give you a little respect. Performed 16, 616 in LA and like that, and then closed the show with, the show with Not Like Us. And the crowd looked really lit. It looked really lit. 
You know, I think that Drake took down all of that promotion for Kendrick Lamar off of his page because he realized in a, in a way, in a kind of like a sap sucker type of way, that it promoted Kendrick like blindly on his page. It kept the beef a lot. So people thinking like, oh, Drake, you know, he erased it off his page. He erased it so people can't connect the dots back to Kendrick and Kendrick can't benefit off of his name. So a black hippie reunion. Audiences went wild when Jay Rock joined Lamar on stage for Money Trees, then... um. Then Ab Soul came out. Then Schoolboy Q came out. It was full of Black Hippie Reunion and the supergroup performed King's Dead all together for the first time since 2018. So that was pretty dope. And they have some footage on there. Still Dre. Dr. Dre came out um, to Inglewood to do songs like Still Dre, California Love. He also helped in the first uh, playthrough of Not Like Us. Kicking the song off with the I See Dead People line. Uh, that got to hurt Drake. That's got to hurt Drake. So the, the, the you know, editor or commenter or journalist wrote that in the article. A group photo for ages. Kendrick did not like us again and again and again. And then two more times again after the show concluded six times was the trending on Twitter. The stage got more and more crowded as the song uh, repeated. Lamar later was joined by YG, Steve Lacey, all the black hippie, um, black hippie, big boy, G Perico, Mustard, who you may recognize by being on the beat, L.A. Clipper, Russell Westbrook, Chicago Bull, DeMar DeRozan, Crumper Tommy, and Crumper, Crumper Tommy the Clown, and allegedly members of every major gang in Los Angeles. Yo, they telling Drake, hang it up, hang it up. Don't play with the family, Crody. It could get deep for your family, Crody. What about me and my family, Crody? Yeah, I, that's my ish, yeah. While taking the concert ending um, group photo, Kendrick instead, um, Kendrick insisted, insisted that this moment was more about just rap beef. He shouted out Nipsey Hussle, Kobe Bryant, and said that everyone on stage has lost someone to violence and that they were here today to represent uh, a unified L.A. Then Not Like Us instrumental came back on. I wish I was there to experience that. So it sounds like people had a really good time at this concert. You know, maybe I have Amazon Prime. Maybe I can go back and watch it and catch it, right? So The weekend attended the concert as a guest, um, living, laughing, and loving the drama. And he, we, we didn't get into the guested Mustard's, what they say? And we didn't even get into who guested on Mustard's opening set. Tyler, the creator, was on stage, as well as Roddy Rich and YG, who wasn't at the show well... <laughs> We know one guy. So, yeah. So, they just talking about that. I thought that that was pretty dope, though. You know, shout out to Kendrick Lamar. Definitely black excellence, black lyricism. A, uh, you know, a very talented and witty uh, performer. So, I respect Kendrick on, uh, you know, this whole beef with Drake. Honestly, it made me turn into a bigger Kendrick supporter because I always knew that he had bars and I knew that he was good. But I just, I don't know. Like, you know. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, also, what I wanted to touch on, too, Ice Spice. So, Ice Spice, she's posted a new snippet. And the snippet, it sounds like she's trying to go in a different direction from her typical drill music. To me, personally, I just, I don't know. Ice Spice, she's going to have to show me something. And I ain't going to lie. I am going to listen to her music when it drops. I'm going to see what it, what it sounds like, you know? You can't do commentary and shit like that and not be able to fully review the music, like, I got to talk about it. I have to understand, like, you know, what direction or whatever she's going in. So that's really important for me. So what do y'all think about Ice Spice? Now, Nikki, she went in her she went in her stories on Instagram and she said, call Web and then call Nitty. Queen, this is all hoodies. Kidnapping and be blocking called D Brock for Biggie. She asked, look. So listen. I personally think that Nikki posted that because she was, you know, people were talking about how she Nikki stole her flow from Sh um Ice Spice stole Nikki flow from Chirac and this. I feel like it was LLC. Like you got to go back and listen to LLC. Two girls getting. I feel like I'm King Kong. Name still going ding dong. Two girls getting more money and they don't rap. They sing songs. I stay with that pink on pink furs and the pink thongs. Goons out they blink wrong. Think twice but don't think long. Yeah, that's what I personally think. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then also, what I go on with Cardi B? Now, if Cardi B is pregnant, you know, congratulations to her. I just personally think that she shouldn't be letting Offset treat her like 
what I say yesterday, an incubator. Like you letting this man, he's out here willy nilly, busting up in all of these other girls and you just open your legs and just spreading it wide for him and letting him nut up in you. Just because he's your husband, he's manipulating you. Yeah, the other people might not be stealing money from you, but he's probably stealing money, allegedly, uh, I believe, because he's manipulating Cardi. And you know, she's out here in this cold, cold world and she done did so much and you know, had all this vitriol and tried to take down a black queen and then behind the scenes, she's going through the karma, you know? I, I I believe that, you know, she's not going through that karma for me and I'm not laughing about it or anything, but I personally feel as though that she is facing some things that she, due to some energy that she put out into the world. She was a part of a bigger plot and scheme to, you know, um, dethrone a truly talented person. So yeah, them bitches got to face crime. Them bitches got to face time for them hate crimes. Yeah, they got to face time for them hate crimes. So you know, I hope at, at the end of the day, I hope Cardi does find healing and all of that. You know, I hope any person finds healing because I know that has to be hurtful. She has a daughter that looks up to her. I'm pretty sure she wants, uh, you know, she wants her daughter to see a strong mommy. And, you know, she don't want her daughter growing up with, you know, mommy being cheated on by dad, dad, you know. So, yeah, I just feel like it's, it's you know, I don't want to see nobody with their heart broken and all of that. But I do believe that you reap what you sow and that them seeds that you plant will grow and that if you with a pimp he gonna hold you know yeah so listen please subscribe to this channel please thumbs up the video this is your boy Laurent potent ponder i'm looking for my people I'm trying to figure out where they at like yo so and it's almost it's like almost 12 30 like you know what i'm saying i gotta get home so listen potent ponder and never pander and never pan handling thumbs up this video subscribe to the channel and i'm up out of here let me know what you think peace